Okay, so over the weekend I asked you what video you wanted to see next and a bunch of you requested me to do a pet supplies and storage video, so that is what this is. I've been putting this video off for months and months and months, mainly because I really don't have that many supplies. I used to have loads when I briefly lived in the UK, but when I moved back out to Cyprus I gave them all away to other hamster owners um, and for a while we didn't have any supplies because we didn't have a hamster and then we got Einstein and then we've been slowly building up the collection of supplies again. Um, so it is going to be a fairly short video, but I hope you are going to enjoy it anyway. So I keep most of my pet supplies in this storage unit, which is the Expedit from Ikea. These are actually two four square units, um, and we bought that instead of the eight square unit just because it meant we could separate them in future if we wanted to. And the supplies are kept in three fabric cube box things. Again, these are from Ikea, and I have these in a sky blue and a black colour. So in the first box I have a mess of toys and houses and things like that. It's not really very organised, um, it's just a bunch of things all thrown in together, hammocks and bowls and houses and all sorts of random things just jumbled into one box. Uh, it really isn't very tidy, but to be honest I'm always changing up the hamster cages, swapping things around so it's difficult to keep it tidy um, and, I, and no one can see it anyway, it's in a box. The second box is a little bit random. I have two containers of hamster food. One is just a generic hamster mix. I couldn't get hold of Burgess this last time I went to buy hamster food. Um, so I just got a generic mix and, you know, I just supplement it as I do. Uh, the other mix is a pellet mix, which is by the company Wellness. Uh, Einstein really loves it. Amelie's really doesn't love it. So it's a bit mixed opinions on that. Uh, I also have a bag of lovely dried mealworms, which is delicious and a bag of cardboard tubes, which I didn't realise I had um, and I must have collected over a, a period of time. Uh, not sure <laughs> what that's about. I also have uh, my pet binder and this is adorable. It's a little Peter Rabbit binder. I love Beatrix Potter books and Peter Rabbit is so, so, so cute. And in this folder I just have um, like shopping lists that I need for the pets and their weights and you know, just random bits of information. I've got sketches for like when I built the lat cage, um, I've got my sketches for that. Um, so it's just a load of random pet stuff in there, nothing really organised, nothing really super important. I also have a sieve which is what I use for keeping the sand bath and litter trays clean and a cloth which obviously is used for wiping things down. In the third and final box I have Jack's pellets and all of the hamster treats. Uh, if you want to see my hamster treats, I did do a video a little while back, um, which what is my updated hamster treats for this year. I have thrown a couple of them away, uh, but they're pretty much all the same. The only new things I have are these adorable little hamster donuts, and I also have um, some milk bones, which I actually couldn't find when I made the treat video, which is why they weren't in there. Um, and then I have Jack's pellets, which are Burgess, um, adult rabbit with oregano, I think? Yeah, that's them. And they're in this bucket, which holds two kilograms of rabbit pellets, which is pretty impressive for that bucket. If you want to know more about Jack's full diet, I did include it in a bunny vlogs video, and if I can find it, I will link it below. Uh, but that's pretty much it for my pet supplies and storage. Like I say, I really don't have that much stuff. I used to have loads of it, um, and I've been trying to sort of, you know, not buy stuff that I don't really need and I try and put as much as I can in the cages so you tend to see the majority of my supplies uh, in my cage tours and I definitely have some more stuff it's in the cages at the minute so if you want to see that watch my last cage tours um, and yeah that's pretty much all my stuff so I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys and because you've been requesting it for ages so I finally got round to it uh, if you did like it don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can share the video with your friends if you feel like it and and I will see you next time. Bye bye guys!